Hey friends, sometimes the simplest techniques can create the most modern concept. I'm feeling super inspired, so today we're gonna make a piece of edible modern art. Have you guys ever had hummingbird cake? No. James, Brandon? Yes, when you made it. Oh yeah, okay, so, so it starts with ground hummingbirds. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's totally a joke. This cake is actually vegan. But I smashed up my bananas like 30 minutes ago and it totally got weird and sus on top. But it'll be fine because it's going into a mix. Okay, dry ingredients into the bowl. We're gonna let the whisk sift for us. So flour, sugar, brown sugar. All right, we'll do our leavener, salt, baking soda, cinnamon, and then I do fresh ground nutmeg. You guys know this about me. Didn't you say you can poison people with nutmeg? Yeah. You want some cake? <laughs> not that much. That's not enough. You'd have to eat like this whole jar. Like, oh. Brandon, look at his t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even I, trying to hide it I anymore. I don't know what t-shirt I had on. No, because we're making like a black cake. So I thought the black, Never mind. Don't listen to them. Let's get this whirling. Okay, we're gonna add most of our wet ingredients, get this like brownie batter, like most of my cake recipes, and then we'll add the rest. Water. This is definitely the barfiest before ingredients you use in any oh, cake. No. <laughs> Let me give her a scrape. It is gonna kinda look barfy, I apologize. But the cake is really good, I promise. It smells so good, like Thanksgiving and Christmas together. All right, we're gonna add the rest of our oil and then all of our Inclusions, which is pineapple, crushed, coconut. I use fresh coconut inside. And then our hummingbirds, I mean bananas. Give that a quick whirl. Let me get a little scrape. That's it, there she is, ready for the oven. So we need to use torch. Oh, it's so not dramatic. The torch. I love using the torch. My dad was a contractor, so I grew up like with things like this. No, I didn't get to play with them, but anyways, let's roll some fun out. <laughs> that sounded horrible. Joshua, get over here. Play with this torch. <laughs> Snow. Snow. Oh, that wasn't very. Snow. Oh, you know what? Somebody told me to put rice in here, and it would come out easily. But I also don't have any rice. But we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put rice in there. Tomorrow, I'll order a burrito supreme and you can have the rice out of it. <laughs> Gross. It has to be, it has to be uncooked rice, Brandon. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll this out a little bit and then we're gonna torch the top and then roll it out to get this like cool cracked glass sort of texture. It's gonna be so red. Hey, Joshua. Yes. When, uh, when do you put the other poison ingredients in? Oh, I'm not gonna tell you when they go in. <laughs> The hummingbirds are in the oven, so is the nutmeg. I should call you Rumpelstiltskin about cake. <laughs> so the idea here is that we're just gonna scorch the surface, sort of caramelize the sugar that's in this, just on the surface. So you don't wanna leave it on here too long, we're just gonna pass along, and you'll see it get sort of shiny. Just don't leave it on one spot for too long, because it'll burn. Maybe that's aggressive. I'll turn it down a little bit. Paging Mr. Malai's. Carl Malai's. <laughs> oh, Carl. From accounting. Hey, did someone call Chris Malai's? <laughs> no? Oh, my brother Carl? Yeah, I'll go get him. <laughs> I'm trying to be steady here, so that made me laugh, James. Not to be confused with the sister, Crystal. <laughs> that doesn't, that's not a word. Crystal no, Malai's? Crystal Malai's is not one. That sounds like some of your ladies. That's how I got all Crystal Malai's. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready, Brandon? It's gonna be so cool. No, I'm taking no, it out. No, no, no. <laughs> 
So this is like a cardinal rule of Fondant, what you don't do. We're doing what you're not supposed to do to get the effect that we want. So I'll do what I want. Now it's all kind of greasy, I can just slide. And all the cracks will open up, and it's gonna be amazing! <laughs> Can't wait till next week when Joshua's like, oh, this makes this cool texture, and he brings a handgun and starts shooting a cake. <laughs> hey. Ooh, it looks so cool! Brandon, you're gonna love this episode because every time I cover a kick and bonnet, Brandon always thinks it's not gonna work. This one, it's not gonna work. Because it will crack and break and we have to fix it. But it's all part of the part of it, I promise. As long as we don't have to do it twice. Don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. So cool! Now we're gonna stack our cake, airbrush, shine spray, gold. That sounds like a lot. Do I feel? Do you think I'm excited or what? <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> cake is stacked. Airbrush is ready to go. Um, I got a new airbrush gun. Are you guys proud of me? Because mine's always clogged up because I forget to clean it. I'll clean it out this time, I promise. Anywho, black airbrush. We're gonna make it all one color because you can see there's still some little uh, cracks and crevices that have discoloration. I want it to all be jet black. And then we've got some shine spray to make it super shiny. Before we get started, should we do our giveaway? Yeah. What are we giving away again? Trapper Keeper! No, Brandon. We're giving away our new You've Been Deserted Socks! Look at these guys! Ooh! Only worn one time! <laughs> Wait, no. those aren't worn, are they really? They're fresh. No, they're fresh. Yeah, we're giving away five pairs of You've Been Deserted socks. All you have to do is uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and comment below and say you want socks. And we will uh, we'll pick some winners and contact you and send them to you. Let me tell you that every time I wear these, I do have a pair. People always will see them peek out and go, what's on your socks? And they're really comfortable. Anyways, I won't send you the ones that I manhandled. I'll just keep these. <laughs> we'll give you some fresh ones. Can I airbrush my cake now? Airbrush your cake. Okay, here we go. Doesn't it look so cool? Murder cake. So. No, it's <laughs> it's chic. Mur murder Think chic. Think of like fashion, like runway, drama. And now we're gonna make her all juicy with some edible lacquer spray. You're gorgeous. This is like setting spray for her makeup. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just turn for me, turn Don't for me. Don't use Gorilla Glue. Do not use Gorilla Glue. This is actually edible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, we gotta let this guy dry and then we're gonna do our gold technique. It's gonna look so rad. So before I start putting gold leaf on here, I wanna sort of like section out where I want it with some gold paint. So think of this as like an organic process and it's supposed to look sort of wild, but really we're, we're gonna plan it out. It's like gold soup. Okay, here we go. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Be my top point. Hey, Joshua. Yeah. Want to hear some viewer comments? Please. All right. I love viewer comments. Viewer comment. First up, Jade Slytherin. Hey, Slytherin. Yeah. Is that your real last name, or do you like Harry Potter? Bro. Y'all should do a cactus cake and dress the crew in cowboy outfits! Do it! <laughs> I've actually done some cacti. Well, we did succulent cake. I don't understand why we have to do a cactus cake to dress up like cowboys. We could just dress up like cowboys. Very true. Leading star Nikita V. Hi, Nikita. Says, which editing app are you using to make these wonderful videos? 
Oh, that would be a Brandon question. I use Windows Movie Maker. No, you don't. On Windows 95. <laughs> Depending on the day, it takes a really long time for his dial-up to start working. Get off the phone! I'm trying to edit! <laughs> okay, this is edible gold. Be quiet around it because it's so precious. Yes. There's going to be a Netflix documentary about how much gold you wasted. <laughs> oh, Brandon, I'm going to miss you when you get fired one day. <laughs> Nice comment, please. Sanvi Talanki. Hello, Sanvi. Could totally be butchering that name, and sorry if I am. It says, algorithm wants a comment? Here you go, smiley face. Yes. Thank you. If you like what we're doing, throw a like please up there. Please comment. Please like. It Even if you don't out. like it, hit the dislike button. Hey, yeah. well, yeah, that's true. It helps us out a ton if you do, and all it takes is that little click. Last comment of the day from Moonlit Fractal. Hey, Moonlit Fractal says, Jane, age six, says, I really like your Valentine's cake, Joshua. Um, I missed you for at least a whole year. Oh, thank you. And why did you miss me? Oh, because man about cake. Yeah, we're here now. Yep. You've been deserted. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, tell your family. And we're not going anywhere. Tell your kids. <laughs> what is it? I think it's hot. Tell your kids, tell your, tell your wives. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Jane. Sometimes cake design can be a totally organic and fun process. Guys, if you want to win a pair of our socks, subscribe to the channel and comment below. If you're already subscribed, just say, hey, I want some socks. Five of you are going to win. I'm Josh John Russell, and you've been deserted. I had a hummingbird in my backyard once. Yeah. And I fed it hot dogs. <laughs> Dude, turns out it was a bat. <laughs> I totally believe that story. <laughs>